Howdy there besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at Lego Monkey Kid, this time doing a deep dive into the mind of Macaque. One of my friends, Darkness, actually asked me to analyze him, so this one's for you bestie. This video will contain spoilers for Monkey Kid. You have been warned. Speaking of warnings, it's time for my disclaimer. So, trigger warnings for mentions of mental illness as well as possible trauma. I am going to be delving into possible childhood trauma and I know I'm going to be touching on anxiety. So, if that disturbs you in any way or triggers you in any way, please do not watch this video. It is not for you. I'm also not a licensed psychologist or professional in any way, so take everything I say with a grain of salt and please do not take it as canon either unless the creators step up and go, oh yeah, by the way, this little this little person on the internet, uh, they're correct. I would also like to give a shout out to Kyanator, I hope I'm saying that right, for the look a monkey kid, but it's just macaque video because it saved my life. I don't have to go on to watch cartoons online and like, find all the clips myself when it's literally in this 30 minute video for me. So um, shout out to you, bestie, love you. Now that that's out of the way, one of the things I immediately wanna look into is Macaque's dislike for heroes, mainly Monkey King. Now obviously the whole Wukong causing his demise thing didn't help any, but there seemed to be a distaste even before then. Wukong and Macaque were friends in the past, but when Wukong became more powerful and heroic, Macaque started resenting him, and there really appears to be some deep-seated grudge against heroes that I think began before Macaque ever fought Wukong. Before getting into that, we have to ask, what is a hero? What is meant by a hero? So, the Oxford Dictionary defines a hero as a person who is admired or idolized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. Um, it also apparently is another term for suffering. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's important to recognize that anyone can be seen as a hero and that this term doesn't just apply to crazily superpowered individuals. So what does this mean for Macaque? What happens to make Macaque hate heroes and resent Wukong for being one? Not much is offered to us in the show to explain this, so I was left to build my own theory, and what I found is some very compelling evidence, if you're willing to go with what I hypothesize here. I personally theorize that Macaque has had an intense fear of abandonment caused by some early childhood event, and that is why he's held such a grudge against heroes, especially Wukong. The early childhood event that I believe possibly happened was a close friend or a family member one Macaque looked up to and had a strong attachment to, abandoning him. I am truly unsure of what this abandonment may have looked like, but I do believe that it may have happened however it did. Here's a range of things that are seen as abandonment provided by the CPTSD Foundation. I'm sort of leaning towards possible narcissistic abuse because Wukong can sometimes translate as narcissistic and self-oriented despite not meaning to come across that way. And that would also help explain the resentment that Macaque has. Now, why am I so sure that this childhood abandonment occurred? Because of the way Macaque is now. Childhood abandonment looks like it goes hand in hand with a fear of rejection and abandonment in adulthood. This fear of rejection is commonly classified as a type of anxiety. Now, turning the page to how abandonment issues translate in relationships. In this case, the relationship between Macaque and Wukong. I think it's safe to say that Macaque didn't want to put all the work into the relationship in case he was left and that he also needed reassurance that he was loved. Macaque wanted to be able to have at least some control over the relationship, which slipped away as Wukong got more strong and heroic. Now, being busy, I doubt Wukong noticed these signs, and I doubt he reassured Macaque. Macaque probably began to fear that Wukong was leaving him and decided to fight him once he became resigned to believing Wukong cared more about heroics than him. In other words, sabotaging the relationship before it could affect him. I think this truly provides an explanation as to why Macaque resented heroes and why he was so quick to resent Wukong. It wasn't because he was greedy for dominance, I think it was because he felt betrayed and abandoned by the only person he felt close to, which was his worst fear coming true. And that about does it. Sorry this video was so short, but a lot of Macaque's story is still left a mystery and therefore there's little for me to analyze. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments and feel free to correct me on any factual inaccuracies. Slay all day or night, wherever you may be. Love you besties. 